Oh, these are not mine. Oh, are these partisans? I think so. They're not going to get anything done. They'll just sort of vaguely be annoying. But that's okay. Um, I don't even care about disrupting the rocketry. We're actually going to sabotage production first. Rural Valley is such a pain in the ass to build. You need, like, an alignment of three celestial bodies, and um, a white cat has to cross your path at exactly noon for you to be able to build the rear volley, valley somewhere that is vaguely helpful and not incredibly disruptive. It is very good. It is a very good wonder, but... Ugh. Success recruiting partisans. I cannot promise that. What? No, I'm just gonna ignore you. Failed and killed! Oh no! Ah! Build more spies. You, go back up over here. Alright, so we're done everything here, which is good. Move up this way. Uh, you're going for high production, so keep going with that. building a spy there. So this is going to give a lot of production here all of a sudden. We're up to 72. We're getting 17 of that from trade routes. And we can pile on more. Should be good. That 10%. Was that one of our 90% chance of succeeding missions? I don't know. I know a lot of the Roman ones are 90%. I think because we've got alliances. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We occupy one of your cities. Well, that's my city now. I don't know what you're talking about. I occupy my cities. I don't even see your name on the city. Didn't you need to upgrade some stuff? Uh, probably. Got all the artillery. Um, I might want to do the iron... I don't know. The ironclad's not quite as important. Success! Sabotage production. Um, yeah, probably getting this artillery upgraded makes sense. Very expensive, but let's do that before the war starts and we get obliterated. Oh, just shy. Do I still want to put No, I want to move everything. Until we get the Mars mission done, we need to send everything to Geordi Source Rex. You have a promotion. Sabotage production is if two levels higher. Siphon funds, kind of spy. No, let's take the sabotage production success rate. That sounds great. I guess the borders aren't going to expand to here for a long time because she's going to be going for the fish, probably the deer. We might be able to slip quite a few things through there. Still, I feel like I've got enough to hold off to Myris if a war breaks out there, at least until I've, I've redistributed my troops. So I'm going to keep moving things here. Plus, I could always go to uh, Kalermis if something happens. Oh, I can't. Is that not a district? Oh, it's a paradise. Okay. Delete that tag. You're working on housing. You're slowly developing up. Now in technology, so we're seven turns away to the satellite. Why not just sail past the island instead of south around their continent? I, I don't know the context that you're talking about. Like, oh, sail, oh, sail past, like, the island. Oh my god, it's so slow. Over here? Oh, that's true. I can hit down there. Yeah, that's a good point. Um, yes! Oh, yes, Rome! We're gonna be buddies for the rest of the game, buddy. We need to redo our alliance and things. Rome is seeking a domination victory. Okay. Doesn't that imply he'd have to come after me? It seems rude. Laggy, laggy. 
Uh, mercury, coffee for marble. And that, and a whole lot of money. 50? Oh no, not as much money as I thought. 30 is good. What about 40? 40 is fine. 45? Okay, we'll do that. I want that money, money. Uh, observation balloon, you're good. You'll just be on alert mode, Mr. Rocket Artillery. Upgrade the ironclad. And go for production. Auckland! I mean, we might start a war with these guys, but... Oh, there we go. We'll go to Monty. I mean, at this point, our trade routes are so long and so far away. Most likely, no matter what we do, we're going to lose trade routes if a war starts. That's not that much money. Go ahead, just disrupt the rocketry. It's not the easiest mission. Should I send both of them to do that? Yeah, because the partisans aren't going to do much. I'm going to do redundant disrupt rocketry missions. Just to make sure one of them succeeds. Okay. Mm We're up to Civ 65 now? <laughs> Uh, yeah, modern anti-tank at some point. This mech inf. Um, right, I still think we've got a half the. Eh, we might need one more, actually, like right here to tank for these artillery. It's flat land, but it's probably a good idea to get one more infantry unit up here. Maybe use a spy to counter spy your spaceport. That's a very good idea. So, this guy over here, I'll probably do that. Wish they'd reboot the Cleopatra game. That was an excellent game. That whole series, Caesar, Cleopatra, Zeus was a little funnier, like, the, I don't know, I think it was a little too cartoony for me, but yeah. Um, Alexander Warmblood, thanks for the tip. You make games that I'd never play... Highly entertaining. Oh, thank you very much, Alexander. That's really nice. <laughs> and Luno sent in another tip to say, check if you need to delay the Armada for a couple of turns. Uh, Venetian Arsenal should be finished before the Armada. That's an excellent point. I was just building the... Um, ooh, but let's see if I one turn. I was building the uh, Venetian Arsenal for the lulls, but it actually is going to be, it turns out, relevant. We'll just... Um, I can't build any bird? We'll just put a turn... Oh, we've got an EQ already. Okay. Work on the neighborhood for a turn, and I'll try to remember to switch back. I'll probably do two turns for safety, just to make sure nothing weird happens. Uh, this is a marsh, right? So I can... Or, no, that's a floodplain. Even better. We only have one place with an actual seaport. So, we're not going to build ships en masse, but we're going to get some... Satellite broadcast. Yeah, we'll have to take a look at the victory screens in a second here. Chugga, 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 chugga. So yeah, no longer concerns me how much science people are making. Not even myself. Because we're going to be researching like three future techs before we ever get around to building ships. The knowledge of their past history, origin, and culture is like a tree without roots. I don't think we have to change any policies. We discovered a shipwreck, but who cares? <clears throat> it's take you forever to build another spy, but it's probably worth starting on it. Send an envoy. Oh yeah, it's bigger range on our zones. That's not bad. Monty's the suzerain of Toronto. Oh, candy. We need to override candy. There we go. So this is going to, like, way overkill it, but that's okay. We need to keep candy in our back pocket. Although, th there's a risk that it'll melt. 
So the trade route here was producing some nice production for our fresh new cities, but that's not going to be the case. We are, in fact, going to send you here. Just keep loading it on. That's going to be fine. You're going to repair that. Um, you are going to, yeah, drop some farming there. That's going to be a good idea. Now, do we want to send anything to help Candy out? I think I will, actually. This mechanized infantry, I'm going to turn around and go over here, since we can access this territory now. And yeah, next time a spy comes up, I'll have it go to Jordy. Do how do you get it to list science in the leaders icons? Oh, this part of the CQUI mod. It just showed up there. I don't know if there's an option you can toggle for it or not. You can look around for it, but I don't think I did. And you can always find that you can find that information somewhere in here. The overall science routes for things. Yeah, there we go. Science per turn for everyone. So you could always find that out. All right, science wise. So people are doing some stuff, but I'm okay with that. Uh, Gorgo is closing in on a half. Not quite at a half, but many, getting there. Many rules had begun to bend. What did Tamiris just build? Or Trajan just built the studio. Okay, that's fine. Future Tech. Woo! Just getting points. Who cares? Okay. Uh, this is on the other island. Yeah, just repair stuff. I don't care. Um, same thing here. I don't think anything's going to be particularly relevant. You. Smash. Hopefully Candy can bombard that and finish it off. Trade routed here. Uh, keep going to Roman cities. There. Someone's trying to call me, but I don't know who that is. Do, 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 do. Surprised the pacifist Stellaris game managed to be peaceful shorter than the Civ 6 Chinese Let's Play. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's probably been long enough. Yeah. I mean, I could have done it last turn easily, but I just really want to make sure that I would not... Um, there wouldn't be any sort of weird change in production that would screw up and have the ships pop too soon. Oh, new deal kicked in for Rome. So you get a bunch of free housing and amenities. Anywhere they've got three districts. There go, put you back in there. I think I took some trade routes away from Silent Flame. Uh, because that production is way not what it used to be. And you just need more trade routes. But yeah, I'll have to send one back over here. Mm -hmm. Really enjoying the Stellaris game, though. Battle balance seems to be better. Less about raw numbers. Yeah, there's there's a lot of interesting counter stuff. I still think it would be interesting to have some sort of explicit espionage mechanic so that you could see people's fleets some way. You know, like send stealth ships in or... Or spies, just so that you can check to see someone's fleet composition before a war starts. Or what their tech tree is, or something like that, but... Yeah, we did a pretty good job in that. What is this? Ah! Space project! Satellite launched. Good. Now, moon landing. All right, it's moon landing. I kept saying Mars project. I meant moon landing. Mars project is the final thing. Um, okay, Orca Commander, rather than go and buff Jordysaurus, I'm actually going to get you to go to Silent Flame, so we can help finish that a wee bit faster. Get some more aluminium over here for Walrus Master. I was watching Quillotine's Titan Quest LP from 2010. Was it really 2010 that I played Titan's Quest? Such a zen game. Reminds me of... Some that's interesting. Uh, Titan Quest is still fantastic. They actually came. Uh, they they have like a like Titan Quest like remastered or or special edition or something was released just a few months ago actually. Um, that um, brought the engine up to date um, and incorporated a bunch of stuff from the, the fan patches that you used to have to use. And it's still great. Titan's Quest is a role playing game. Uh, sorry, action RPG. It's like a Diablo like, Path of Exile like. Um, non random maps is the one downside. Uh, but really great class system. 
Really, really great class system. Um, what's the uh, what's the new one that they did? Is it Grim Dark or something like that? Um, some of the mechanics are better. Not as many classes. I really love Titan Quest. I think it's fantastic, and you can often pick it up on sale for like two dollars on Steam. It's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Are we doing anything here in One Ball J? See, you can build the Ruhr Valley here, but it's like. It take us 57 turns. It's not a really high production city anyway. Like, it's hard to find the sweet spot for it. So, I often just don't bother. I could slowly put out some, like, non-grouped units. I could just run projects here. Actually, build a military academy. It'll give you production and things and what the hell, right? I love the Bolshoi Theater. It's really good. I mean, it's too late for it now, but the two random uh, civics is really good. And good uh, point production as well. You get a million housing. You know, we could still use a few more builders. Just go ahead and do that. I mean, we don't have a policy for it, but that's fine. Your housing cap. You have a good spot for a neighborhood? Yeah, just go ahead and do that. That's fine. Um, we... Why? Okay, hold on. Tamaris and Rome. No, wait, I'm super confused. Tamaris and Rome are at war with each other. Cyrus declared war on Candy. What? Defense Pact. So did Tamaris declare war on Rome? Candy declared war on Trajan. Why did Candy... Because Tamaris... Oh, okay. Okay, wow. So Tamaris flipped Candy... And Tomaris is in a war with Rome. This has been a thing existing. Therefore, Candy declared war on Rome, and because of the defensive pact, I'm now in a war against Candy. Okay. I guess we're going to fuck up Candy, because why not, right? Alright. I'm like, I'm not in a war with, with, with anyone else. Like, that's the thing. When, when are you ever in a war against the city-state? Just, like, randomly, right? Like, you're either going to be at war with the suzerain, but that's the thing. I'm not in a war against Candy Suzerain. I'm not in a war against Tamiris. Alright, that's fine. Hey everybody, free candy. It's about time we take this thing out. Because this has been a little bit of a thorn in our side for a long time. Because Candy has been um, a vassal of Tamiris for ages. Oh yeah, I was going to bring one of these spies home. That's what I'm going to do right now. Although we can... Hold on. We're going to great work heist 90%. Never mind. I like candy. I like candy. Candy, it was nice knowing you. See you in your new game. Candy Crush. This is it. This is Operation Candy Crush. It's very subtle. That's what we're trying to do here. I mean, Candy can't even handle Barbarians, so I think we're fine. Wish these turns weren't so long. 
After a shift of envoys, you're no longer the suzerain of candy. So that's what happened. Some envoys moved around. We lost suzerainship of candy. Now we're going to have to explode candy. Candy's like... <laughs> Candy's sitting there like, I've made a huge mistake. Um, I should actually upgrade you before I leave the territory here. Oh, did that use all your moves? I thought you'd have enough left so I could upgrade you this turn. That's too bad. You should likewise be upgraded. Move to here. Become rocket artillery. Thank you. Move one step. Become rocket artillery. And come here. Um, I guess you gotta build a farm because we can't build a paradise on a floodplain apparently. Banana candy. Mmm! Oh man! I love those little like marshmallow banana candies. Those things are the best. You're denouncing me? You have like Three dudes with a spear, buddy. Oh, he's actually got 282 military strength now. Well, la di da. <laughs> I can't believe King has ensued candy over trademark infringement. Haha. <laughs> and the standard announcements. Mm hmm. Hey, listen, I didn't start this war. Don't call me a warmonger. It's very rude. It's very insensitive. Future tech. Oh, there's no boost. Don't you don't have to let me know. There's no inspiration potential on either one of these. Go away. We have a balloon, so we can not hit you from back here. Oh, because we just moved. Because this is this is all flat. So we have a line of sight. We just have to wait for um, us to not have moved before we can bombard you. Oh, this is Rocket Artillery. For some reason, I thought this was mechanized art. Or mechanized infantry. Yeah, the artwork for the uh, Rocket Artillery is a little confusing to me. It's a little confusing. Playthrough did not count. I see no Petra. The Petra is a myth. I don't know what you're talking about. Petra is uh, fake news. Alternate facts. Now that you're at war, Gorgo will like you. Yeah. So we'll have an overall opinion about what the difference are between this game and Civ 5. Uh, my opinion is I, I do think I enjoy Civ 6 more than Civ 5. And I didn't think I would say that this quickly. I, th I thought it would have to wait for, you know, some major expansions. And it's not like Civ 6 is perfect, although neither is Civ 5, I suppose, but I, I enjoy Civ 6 more. And that surprises me to say that so quickly. You know what? I apologize. I'm not going to spy against you anymore. Sorry. Sorry, bro. He's making crazy amounts of science now. Like, it doesn't matter. You're making 442 science per turn. Ooh, who cares? The game's over, buddy. What are you doing? Stop tryharding. Uh, just pop out another builder. Let's try to skip on foot. Okay, we evaded. That's good. Although we do have another spy over there currently trying to sabotage his uh, space center. I think this is the one with the lower chance that just failed. So, technically we are still spying on him. I'm sure that's fine. That's a hell of a lot of bombard. Yeah, there's no reason to just... Yeah. Well, actually, we take very little damage. That's true from both. Okay, you are going to be our... Oh, I can't just click on the target city. That's a little annoying. And... Jordy, Jordy, Jordy. Jordy. Boom. Go there. Yeah, you're going to defend our, our space base. 19 turns to the moon landing. And yeah, we've got multiple um, uh, rocket sites, so we'll be able to build the spaceship parts pretty quickly. Oh, it's trading time. You want three of mine for one of yours, but I don't have it, so... You know what? It's fine. Obviously it helps her more, but it also helps me, and that's okay. So there's so, so many people in the world, so many politicians will rant about, like, oh, we've got a trade deficit with a certain country. It, it's not... 
trading is not a it's a non-zero sum game there's not one person that wins and one person that loses in a trade that's not how it works trade deficit be damned <laughs> 